11 community members gathered to remember a young life lost in a three car crash. A 17 year old just starting his senior year was killed in New Milford on Friday. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski has more from tonight's vigil. The New Milford students held tonight's vigil. Hundreds lighting their candles, remembering their friend and classmate who lost his life late last week. Those who knew him were at the vigil held at New Milford High School, honoring 17-year-old Julio Gomez. He was a delight, and now that he's gone, it's just like so miserable and heartbroken. He was killed late Friday afternoon on Route 7. A three-car crash involving two 17-year-olds in an Infiniti colliding with a Hyundai Tucson and a Nissan Rogue. I was at the scene about 20 seconds after it happened. Elliot Murphy heard the crash from his office nearby. There was about like 15, 20 people already there. It was crazy how many people actually showed up at the scene. 17 year old Julio Gomez, the passenger in the Infinity, didn't survive the crash. The driver, another 17 year old, is in critical condition, and the two people in the Nissan were also hurt. New Milford police are investigating, and Mayor Pete Bass says the Infinity speed was a factor. They fly down this road. Um, it's, it's shocking how many crashes happen on this road. Now, a cross and candles mark the place where tragedy struck. It doesn't feel real until we go into class and we don't see him there, and that's when it's really going to hit. Meanwhile, as the investigation continues, hearts are heavy as friends grieve the loss of their classmate. Everyone loves Julio. Julio is Julio, and he will forever be missed and loved by everyone in the school. Now, the cause of the crash is still under investigation, but the mayor says speed may be a factor. Now, he says Connecticut DOT will be doing a study on the safety of this state-owned road, but the town does have a grant to make Route 7 safer. Reporting in New Milford tonight, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.